if you use body worn mics, you know that they don't last that long. There's all kinds of reasons why they break down. What we're going to look at here is moving parts. Uh, what would happen to me, I'd be teaching a class and my signal, my mic would drop in and out. And uh, at first I thought it was my microphone right here. And I would move it around and I would lose signal in and out. But what was actually happening was my antenna was moving and I would cut out. So I'm up onto the receiver right here and you see it's working. But if I pull that transmitter back, I drop the signal. You look at that LED right there, I'm in and out. So what that tells me is that it's the antenna. And you'll see here it's, it's kind of loose and wiggly. And actually I, I managed to pull it right out of the transmitter. And you can see the antenna there, that conductor uh, that snapped or broke off of the board. What we're going to do is we're going to find on the board where the antenna broke from and resolder it. And you can see the conductor here on the antenna where it's uh, short because it broke off. And the antenna is basically a wire. So we're going to use some strippers and we're going to uh, peel back some of that insulation and expose some wire. We'll clip off the excess or the end just to make it nice and flush. And then we'll tin the wire. If you don't know what that is, uh, we're going to take a soldering iron. We're going to take some solder. We're going to warm up both uh, the wire and the, and the solder. And the wire will act as a wick. Those strands of that cable will wick up the hot solder. Once it cools down, that wire is nice and solid, ready to be attached to a board. Uh, next, the transmitter, we're going to take it apart. Uh, if yours is not the exact same one as this, explore, but they're usually pretty simple. For this one, just two screws at the top, and we'll, we'll kind of hinge that back cover off. And these two little clips here are the only things that hold the uh, bottom part on. You can see here on the board where that wire was connected to and where it broke off from. Next, we'll desolder. We have to take off any excess that's on this board. And if you have one of these desoldering uh, syringes, uh, it's a good idea to use that. You'll get it nice and hot and you hit the plunger. It'll suck up anything that's there. Once it's clean, you can get that antenna through the board. And uh, I just tack it down real quick with a small bit of solder. But I'll follow it up and uh, really make sure it's on that board. Uh, nice and good connection. One thing I noticed about this unit here is that there's nothing really securing this antenna to the board other than the wire that it's soldered through. Um, there's a little stress, a rubber stress relief uh, piece that they have, but that just really like holds the mast from wiggling too much on that case. But really there's still stress on that wire. So what I'm gonna do is take a hot glue gun and just dab some hot glue there so that um, it'll really help keep that mast from being moved around. Especially if you're using these things for like fitness classes where there's no way to not move that antenna around. Uh, I thought this would be a good idea. Don't want to put too much on there. I want I don't want that case to have trouble closing up. But just want to surround that antenna and uh, just help it stay a little bit more solid. We're going to put that stress relief back on obviously before you uh, put that board back into place. Because it's got a little piece that holds it behind the case. But it's going to go back together the same way you took it apart. Uh, here in this case, just those two screws towards the top. Uh, and then the test. Now my transmitter, or my receiver I should say, is on. Uh, so if I turn the switch on the transmitter, that receive light should go on. And you see here that it's not, so I'm a little nervous. But uh, hello? Oh, there it is. Good. So uh, I'm going to take my uh, transmitter and, and move it away, see if I drop signal it's looking like it's not i'm even going to kind of move this antenna around to see uh, if i drop and it's not so pretty sure that's the fix hopefully that helped you out if you have a similar problem uh, hit me up with questions or ideas for other tutorials i like challenges also check out the kids mechanics channel uh, if you want to see kids take on adult projects